Looks like we're coming up on an accident. This is the only road to Alaska. And today, we're gonna show you just how dangerous this road actually is. Do you guys need medical? You guys need medical help? I need a doctor. We're ER nurses. Guys, we're gonna help. With no cell phone service, you were left to face this emergency alone. Would we have done things differently? But that is just the beginning of the story. As we're trying to get to the Alaskan border, the anticipation is killing us. Trust us when we say it is never a pleasant experience going through border patrol, as you will see. It all starts right here, right now. Next stop, Destruction Bay. Carl's not nervous, we got this. Because we have you guys, anything's possible. We're sitting here. Sorry about the hair. Anyone know of any good barbers in Alaska? You're gonna get the Grizzly Man special. <laughs> We're watching people drive by and man, they are slamming these frost heaves. I mean, just plowing through it. I guess they don't see it. They're heave hoeing the frost heaves. Heave hoeing. I mean, going and hoeing these frost heaves like no tomorrow. Just in case you're thinking of coming to Alaska, you can know what to look out for. Thanks, thanks. I think the Google Maps and Apple Maps and RV Life Maps should account for how slow you have to drive on these roads. Like, it tells you how long it will take to get there based on the speed limit. But we, we all know you're not going the speed limit. But it would be fun to have an RV that we could just like drive down this road really fast and see what, like a before and after. Like if anyone has a rig, they just wanna shoot our way and then we'll just drive the entire Alaskan highway going the speed limit and see what it looks like at the end. Yeah, if you guys are looking to get rid of an RV, maybe send it to the junkyard. We'll take it and we'll give it the true test. That would be so much fun. Don't slow down, heave ho, full speed, let her rip. We're in the thick of it now. This is quickly becoming a nuisance. Maybe every like 300 yards, another huge frost eve. Now, the good thing is I'm seeing a lot of markers near these to give you a good indication that they're coming. They're just coming so frequently. I wish, I wish they would just kind of go away. But you know, I guess everyone else that travels and lives up here wishes the same thing. It's all part of the journey. Gotta love it. No, I'm not complaining. I'm just venting. Can a man vent? No. What we're trying to say is every road has its flaws. It's up to you to bring out the best in the road. You know what this is? This is nature's speed bump. I love when you're driving and even though they're going slow, their RV just goes like this. <laughs> Hence the strapping in. We're going for a ride. That's a big one. Give adequate spacing between you and your other peeps that you're traveling with, if applicable. If you're not traveling with anyone and you're alone, well, <laughs> good luck. I'm just kidding. Just watch the road. You'll be dandy randy. What we can really appreciate about not being in the lead is the leader kind of sets the pace. And whenever they slam on the brakes and then articulate their RV in funky ways, well, we know not to do that. Right now we are currently between Destruction Bay and Toke, Alaska. We are about three hours out from the Alaskan border. We're hoping to make it there tonight, but we're not exactly sure how long we're gonna take to get there because like I said, we're taking at, at our own pace. Nonetheless, we're still hitting these bumps and it's doing some jolting to say the least. So I can understand and appreciate where everyone's coming from when they say these roads are nothing to mess with. Don't take it lightly. And I agree, don't take it lightly, but do take it slowly. Do heave ho in a slow mo manner. You like I that? I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Stressed out about this drive? <sighs> no way. Cool, calm, collected. I pretty much get in this driver's seat. It's smooth sailing, no stress. Watch those Whoa. bumps.
it's like Arizona again. All over again, maybe. I really don't think, I don't know. Now the pressure's on if we're gonna hit the border tonight. We're, uh, we're not gonna have cell signal or Starlink in the evening, which is fine. We don't need it, but it'd be nice to be able to know our family can check in on us. So that means you're stuck with us all night. That is it. You can't go anywhere. Oh, wait, no. we just... I saw you click away. No, you're not clicking away. Should we just film for like 24 hours with them just like constant, like they go just hang out with us the whole time? Is that even a question? Of course we will do that. <laughs> I'm honestly just glad we didn't wash the RV before we came out here. We never really have been the type of people to like go invest in all these different things. Like people are like, you need this, 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 and this. Well, we're just like, <laughs> we have the bare minimum. Let's see what happens. And it makes a life a little more spicy when you do it that way. Heck, we enjoy it. <laughs> Learn from our mistakes. <laughs> Did the Hanks get those mud flappy things before coming up? No, we absolutely did not. The rock tamers? The rock tamers. No. The thing that's taming the rocks is the fifth wheel. <laughs> fifth wheel's taking the brunt of it. It's like, calm down. I can't even see. I'm blind. I feel like because we don't have a brand new RV, it's like whatever, you know what I'm saying? Our RV is a few years old. It's like four years old, but if we had a brand new RV, I'd probably be doing more to protect it. Just saying. When in doubt, move it out. And what do I mean by that? Well, get out of the way. It just seems like we're the only ones going this slow out here. Like everyone passed us and just went for it. I know. It makes sense why everyone's like saying you need to take extra parts. And all this and that with your RV because everyone's just driving like normal speed down this road and holy cow. Listen, I said it once and I'll say it again and I'll say it a thousand more times. I'm thinking most of the troubles you're gonna run into is if you're speeding, blowouts, broken axles, broken axle hangers, anything you can think of, most of the times it's gonna be probably because you're speeding. So just take it slow you're good to go. Keep saying good to go. Like that's some answer in life, but it really is. You'll be good to go because you won't be stopped alongside the road broken, broken down. Even if we had spare parts, I wouldn't be like, oh, let's just like beat the crap out of our rig because we can use these spare parts. I mean, I can't say for sure that like something won't happen because it's still rough, but just go slow. Like the, t the day you need to go from Destruction Bay to Toke, you double the time it says it takes. If it says it's gonna take three hours, it's gonna take six. Spoken like true emergency nurses. We're not planned for any emergencies. Looks like we're coming up on an accident. So the Hanks might have to go into gear here and see what's up. Looks like we have our rollover. Anytime you are faced with an emergency, you must always remember that your first priority is your own safety. Never put yourself in danger no matter how dire the situation is that you are faced with. Unfortunately, so many accidents and deaths occur every year from those people who are just trying to help. But while you're out here, nobody nobody's here to help, so. Do you guys need medical? Do you guys need medical help? We need a doctor. We're ER nurses. Here we go. Your next priority must be finding a way to contact emergency medical services as quickly as you can. Imagine our shock when we realized that we were completely cut off from the world, unable to contact anyone via cell phone or even connect our Starlink to the lack of satellites above. Guys, we're gonna help. Fortunately, bystanders eventually showed up and had a satellite phone who were able to make contact with 911. It took the ambulance almost an hour and a half to get to our location, which just goes to show how desolate this road can really be. Needless to say, don't have a medical emergency out here. It's scary. No signal. Starlink wouldn't even reach the satellites. It's desolate. Guy's okay though. Thankful for that. Glad we at least got an ambulance out here. That's good. Thank goodness it wasn't serious serious because that could have been really bad. And uh, I don't know, it's not meant to scare anybody and it's not meant to mean anything by it. It's just we're out here alone, so take it for what it is. Carl is just, he's, he's been tapped out. He's tapped out of this drive. 
almost 12 hours on the road. Actually it is. We loaded up the truck at 7 a.m. and it is 7 p.m. There's something we still have to do today though and that is cross the Alaskan border. Now I heard that the border is open for 24 hours all days of the week but I also heard that they they close at 7 so we're just gonna show up and hope that they're open. We have no idea. I'm just I'm just so confused because Everyone made it out to be that the Cassier Highway was like, oh no, don't do that. That's intense. No one really said anything about this road, but there's actually not even a, there's no road. Everyone's like the road is rough, but nobody said there's actually not a road. You're just gonna be on dirt the whole time. When were you gonna tell us this? Are we on the right road? I feel like we're being punked. I feel like we're on a side road. Did we even take the right way? We've been on a dirt road for years now. I know, and I just don't, I, just, I agree, and I just don't understand what happened to the road. Should we be on a boat? Is that where we went wrong? Should we have ferried to Alaska? There's no road. Border checkpoint, round two. Here we go. Okay, I gotta go to the right. I ain't gonna fit in that one. So first thing we notice is it says passenger cars to the left, but it's showing a 12 foot 10 clearance. I guess they're testing us to make sure we know our high clearance. <laughs> We're in the trucks and buses lane only, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, am I right? Hi. Oh, sorry, okay. Uh, we were full time on the road, but we were just in Canada. Uh, we passed through Sumas up here to go visit Alaska for the summer. So you live out of your RV then? Or? Yeah, we're from Pennsylvania, but we've been full-time for six years now, so. Firearms on board? No. Cash over 5,000? No. Have a good day. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Have a good evening. He was a little nervous. He kept stumbling over your words there. He just kind of was so, he was like so intimidating. We are officially through, and this is only the beginning of the journey. Check out these other two videos right here to give you a little other taste of the Hanks while waiting for next week's video because you can guarantee we'll be there. Love you guys. See you then.